Princess Urduha. Princess Urduha. This is the story of Princess Urduha. She was very intelligent. While she was young, she learned the art of sailing. She also learned from the soldiers the art of war. She learned languages from the visitors to the kingdom and could speak and write many languages. She lived in the kingdom of Pangasinam. The kingdom had seen many battles and lost many men in the attacks. King Dalase ruled over Pangasinam. He had two children, a lazy son and a curious daughter. The king wanted his son to lead the army into battle. There were many problems in the kingdom and it needed to be protected. The king was growing old and there were many enemies surrounding the kingdom. The king asked his son to protect the kingdom. King Dalase told the prince, Our enemies are strong and they will take everything from you and your sister. Princess Erduha looked at the silent prince. They were complete opposites. He was weak and she was strong. He was cowardly while she was brave. He did not want to lead while she dreamed of fighting and winning great victories. While the king was talking, news came that a new enemy was coming to attack the kingdom. Princess Erduha was at her father's feet. She begged him, Father, let me lead the army to battle. I promise I will win a victory. The king looked at his son. His son was weak and unhealthy. The king told the princess, You shall act as my son and lead my army into battle. Princess Erduha won a great victory over her enemy. From then on, she began training her own army. It included noble women, common girls, and slave girls. When the king was dying, he told his people that from then on, the kingdom would be ruled by Princess Erduha. She had proven herself to be a worthy ruler because of her courage. Princess Erduha waged many successful wars against neighboring kings. She was able to extend her kingdom very far. Princess Erduha made gifts of rice, buffalo, ginger, pepper, lemon, mangoes, and salt after peace was made. Princess Erduha learned from each battle and taught the lessons to her followers. Princess Erduha had a special council of wise women. They advised her to get married so she might have a son. She told the council that she would not marry any man unless he could beat her in a fair fight. Kings and princes of nearby kingdoms sometimes came to court her, but after many months, they stopped. They were afraid to be defeated by such a strong warrior. Princess Erduha never married. Because of her many victories, she became very wealthy and had the finest, finest clothes and best foods. Princess Erduha's story was told by Ibn Battutu, an Arab traveler. At first, he thought the princess was just a simple girl. Later, he was impressed by her intelligence, the sandalwood palace, and the embroidered silk curtains. Princess Erduha may have spoke five or more languages and many dialects. Ibn Battutu described the princess as brave, fierce, loyal to her people, intelligent, kind, and exceedingly beautiful with brown skin and black hair that reached her heels. Always be proud of yourself and care for your family and community.